Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to set hardware ray tracing to false or true in config file. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view. Select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder. Open this Arkansas folder. Saved folder. Config folder. Windows folder. And here you can see config file. Open this folder. And over here find ray tracing. So here you can see B hardware ray tracing. If this is set to true, you can type in false over here. And then go to file, save it. And then relaunch the game and then check. If it is already set to false, in that case, you can set it to true if your graphic card supports hardware ray, uh, ray tracing. Now go to file, click on save, relaunch the game and then check. So the ray tracing is causing a uh, crash for many players. So you can turn off ray tracing and then check. Now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder. To rename or delete the config folder, you can go to the same location, go back. This is the location. You can rename it. When you rename it, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can make a right click and then click on rename. And then rename this config folder and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game file. This is important. Make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And this will take you to the game installation folder. Make a double click to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, in that case, open this Arkansas folder, binaries, Win64. Over here also you will find the game exe file. Make a double click and then launch the game and then check. Now, still not working, make a right click and then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again. This time you can select, uh, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can try this time, you can try Windows 7 over here. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, you can even try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus or if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection, Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So, wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. In my case, this is the location. Select the game exe file, click on open and then again add and allow app, browse all apps and then open this Arkansas folder binaries win64 select this and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. The next step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can type in 
go to Google in Google search, type in gaming services repair tool and go to Xbox support, the Microsoft website. On this website, uh, you can scroll down and find over here, you will see downloadable version. So here you can see downloadable version, click on it, scroll down and here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC, click on it and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, uh, you will see completed successfully. So once you see completed successfully, then you can relaunch the game and then check. So once you see completed successfully like this, and now you can close this and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. Download both the files and then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this, download this x64 file as well. Again, and run this exe file. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Once this is done, restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Your operating system. Select your graphic card, your operating system. Then click on Find. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. You can click on View and then click on Download. And once the download is complete, you run this exe file. Run this exe file and once you run it, click on yes to allow, click on OK. Then click on agree and continue. Select custom option and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. And then click on next. Once the clean installation is done, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game outer worlds folder. And then open this folder binaries win64. Select this exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, added over here, find the game in the list. And then click on the game, select high performance over here and then go to add desktop app once again and then go back again, back, back, select the first exe file. And once the game is added, click on the game, high performance again, and then relaunch the game and then check. Desktop users make sure that SDMI cable or display cable is connected to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to try these in launch option. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, and then in the launch option under the general, type in dash DX11, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. You can close this, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game again, and then check. Still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So NVIDIA card users, if you have NVIDIA app installed, you can launch it. If you don't have it, install it. And once you launch NVIDIA app, you will see the game over here. Click on play over here. Try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, click on settings. Or you can even click on graphics and then you can uh, select the Outer Worlds 2 game. And on the right hand side, if you see optimize option like this, I don't see it, but in your case, I'll show you a different application. Once you select the game, if you see optimize option, hit optimize. And then you can relaunch the game and then check. If it is already optimized, then revert the optimization. And then you can close NVIDIA app and then relaunch the game. Also go to settings, turn off this NVIDIA overlay and then close NVIDIA app, relaunch the game. Next step is to try debug mode. Now for this, make a right click on the game, uh, desktop, 
show more option and then click on nvidia control panel once open go to help and then put a check on debug mode make sure debug mode is checked and then relaunch the game and then check still not working restore the nvidia control panel settings now for this go to manage 3d settings go to global settings and then click on restore over here click on yes at the bottom right you will see re uh, apply option hit apply and once this is done you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try intel driver and support assistant to update your drivers so intel users go to intel website go to the official intel driver and support assistant you will see download option you can download it and then you can run this exe file install it on the computer in my case it is already installed so once you install it once installed you can launch this nvidia uh, sorry intel driver and support assistant once installed you can just launch it once you launch it it will scan your computer and if there is any update uh, for intel uh, you will see it in my case it's, it's already repairing is that's why once this is done you will see launch option you can launch it and then you can if there is any update you will see download option and then install option install it and then once it is done you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can check in my case it's still repairing that's why uh, you can see there but you will see download all and repair or uh, install all option next step is to disable or enable steam overlay if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties you can turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off relaunch the game and then check now if it is already off you can turn it on and then check so try both on and off and each time you launch the game and then check close other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay nvidia app you can go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay and then close all the overlay application and then check do not overclock set it default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after when a revert tuner running or any kind of overclocking application running on your computer close it close all third party application make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest you can close everything including all your browsers so if you have multiple application running just make sure that you close everything close all the third party application on it from your computer so close everything and then check including your browsers next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate for example if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor next step is to disable onboard graphics you can make a right click start menu go to device manager and if your computer has a dual graphic card one is nvidia or uh, one is intel or if you have any integrated graphic card expand display adapter and then make a right click on integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check and once done playing the game you can make a right click and enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select your graphic card and your operating system on this page you can click on view more version and maybe you can try older geforce game game ready driver try to install it but when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to set uh, try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to system and security windows defender uh, sorry go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here you will see power saver so in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver like this select power saver over here and then relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced and then check you can even try high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install direct x file now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on download 
and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Accept and then click on next. Uncheck install Bing bar. Next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, you will see finish option. Hit finish and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. This is important. This has worked for a few players. So you can go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. So for example, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo, whichever brand you have, go to their system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply Click on OK. OK. You will see restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now, still not working. The next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, Turn off ray tracing. You can try window mode and lower down video settings. So if the video quality is set to like everything is to set to ultra or high, you can set it to medium or low and then check. The last the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controllers connected to the computer. Disconnect external keyboard or mouse. Like if you have key crown keyboard, razor head span keyboard, you can disconnect it. Relaunch the game and then check. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, you can install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.